One investment banker calls it, quote, the greatest program that never occurred. What are we talking about? Well, Brian Luke joins us with more to tell us about. And we're talking about? The public-private investment program. Some people call it PPIP, PPIP. Mm. It's supposed to be essentially the government cure-all for all those toxic assets to remove them from the bank balance sheets. And, supposed to be. And get them, get them away. Right. And it's created terrific optimism in the market. The only problem is it hasn't actually happened yet. But there's a couple good signs I want to point out in the commercial um, real estate market, particularly in the commercial mortgages. And I want to show you a nice little chart. It's the Barclays Capital uh, Commercial Mortgage Asset uh, Index. And right. if you see that, it's, it's really taken off. And that big jump up was from March 23rd when uh, Tim Geithner announced the PPIP, the PPIP program. Uh, that's when the stock market went up 500 points that day. You see there's been a little bit of volatility of recently. Now, you see that, that real steep incline in the last couple of weeks. Right. That's a really interesting point I want to bring up because what that's going on with that, it's, uh, it's essentially the banks are being able to find creative ways to package new securities and sell them out to investors without the need of the government, without mm -hmm. this PPIP program. So there's a market for them. They're getting them out there. Right. And they're getting them out there. They're finding investors. Right. They're, they're, they're being a little creative with it. They call it a remick or a re remick Well, because I thought everybody was worried about the commercial real estate market. We talk about it a lot here. Everybody is worried about the commercial real estate market, and they're really worried about the uh, you know, refinancing rates and going forward. But, you know, the best way I can really just to describe it would be with uh, Sean Kirk. He was in the studio earlier. He's a trader for mortgages at Seaport Group. Okay. Now, he said what we're doing is about rally is really a, um, getting rid of the Armageddon scenario, so to speak. It was, it was the stocks were, the, the commercial mortgages were so beaten up right. that they're actually getting a rally now. And now the fact that the banks are able to cleanse their balance sheet by themselves mm -hmm. without government help, that's really helping. All right. So in other words, maybe some overreaction before we're all realizing, okay, the banks can kind of deal with some of this. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, though, that does that mean that we don't need the PPIP anymore or what? Well, that's, that's an interesting question. In fact, I caught up with Anthony Polini. He's an analyst at Raymond James. Now, he believes that PPIP is unnecessary for the bank recovery. Okay. So he feels that, that although it's a good systemic risk regulator, it's not really needed at this time. So hence, the, the, what is it? The greatest program that never occurred. Exactly. Or never needed, whatever. All right, got it. Brian, thank you so much. Thank you. Brian Lewis.